In this video, I want to talk a little bit about gold. As we're looking at gold, I wanted to show you an example an example of a trade that we took this morning. Now, this is a time-lapse video, so this is just a voiceover of what was going on. But you can see I was looking at the ABC projection tool, looking for this market to break off of that high peak, coming in off of the uh, blue light system. Now, as you can see, we took a short position off the blue light system with two orders, and now we're placing our initial trailing stops. We broke the trailing stops apart into two different locations. You'll notice one is a parachute stop above the high of the market, and then the next one is a little bit closer. It's behind the one bar behind the entry bar. And then we had them trail um, just those number of ticks behind the market. As you can see, the top one was trailing 14 ticks behind the market, and the closer one in was trailing 10 ticks behind the market. And at this point, I uh, went and got some breakfast, and I just let the computer take over and handle this trading uh, for me at this point. As you can see, as we had the ABC projection tool uh, out into where I was anticipating where this market was going, the software was automatically moving for me those stops. And as the market came down a little bit closer, you can see that the first stop was uh, locking in some profit. The second one is currently at break even. And as the market continued to move, we had um, the stops would continue to move at those uh, 10 and 14 locations behind the market and moving into profitable area. You can see that we're up about $300 and, oh, $330 at this point with two contracts. Um, as the market moves forward, you can see that we're just continually trailing automatically with those stops. Now, I came in here a little bit later after having my breakfast, and you can see this was a period of about, oh, this again, we're on a time lapse, so this was a period of about, oh, 15 or 20 minutes. And then you can see I came in and saw that this market had exceeded my expectations initially and had dropped down into profitable territory. And so what I wanted to do is take a little bit bigger risk and go for a longer trade. And so I moved that last stop, that parachute stop, back up to break even and told it to start trailing the blue light system. I left the first stop to continue to trail 10 ticks behind the market and lock in some profit. So I was actually taking a bigger risk, going to go for a longer trade, see if there wasn't some more money in this market a little bit further down in the trade. So you can see that's why I broke this stops apart, moved the other one back to break even, let it trail the blue light system, rather than continuing to trail down at the uh, at the tick 14. Now we're doing another little projection in here with the ABC tool. You can see we've got this little ABC pattern in there. Kind of expecting or anticipating this market to continue the trend down. You can see that my uh, parachute stop now connected to the blue light system and has started to trail and is, is into profitable territory. As the uh, trail 10 tick is still uh, just 10 ticks behind the market. You can see we're still up at about 400 and uh, we've looked, we dropped back down about $330. We were up over $400 on this trade. But as you can see, the market starts to turn and come up back against us, and it doesn't exactly continue in the longer-term downtrend that we anticipated. And in here, you can see we get stopped out on the first trade. Right here, as the market comes back and clicks out, takes us out of both trades, we end up with about $135 overall on this trade. The number one question I get when people watch my videos is they want to know what software platform I'm using and what indicators I'm using. First and foremost, if you come to our website, TradeMentors.com, you'll notice that we have a section here called Tools for Traders. If you click on Tools for Traders, the software tools in here are listed. And you can see the recommended trading tools. We have the live trading platforms that we use. These are from Track and Trade, Track and Trade Live Futures, and Track and Trade Forex. If you click these more info buttons, you can find out more information about the platforms we're using. I also use a plug-in to the live futures version that is called the Bulls and Bears. That's the Bulls and Bears is what turns the price bars red, yellow, and green and gives me the Elliott Wave uh, blue light system. And so that's a plug-in into the live version of Track and Trade. And it works on both uh, the live futures as well as the live Forex. Now some research tools that we love and that we have here listed as well are the Trade Miner tools. This is Trade Miner for stocks, futures, Futures and Forex. This is one of the research tools that helps us identify the fundamental nature of markets. And then, of course, we have NewsMiner. NewsMiner is the current active uh, information, scours the internet, tells you what the current news is on any given stock, future, or Forex, and then ranks them which ones or which markets are in play. So, again, if you want to have a little bit of information about the tools that we use here at Trade Mentors, come to our website, www.tradementors.com, and click on the Tools for Traders button.